This SciShow video is supported by Brilliant. As a SciShow viewer, you can keep building your STEM skills with 20% off an annual premium subscription at brilliant.org slash scishow. When it comes to plant biology, it seems like we should have most of it figured out by now. Sure, we spot a new species or maybe a funky adaptation every once in a while, but for the most part, it doesn't seem like there could be all that much more to discover. Right? Wrong! <laughs> there is a vining plant called Boquila trifoliolata that is challenging everything we know about how plants work, and even raises a pretty bizarre question. Can plants see this? unassuming climbing vine is found in the temperate rainforests of Chile and Argentina, where it seamlessly blends in with its surrounding plants. In fact, it blends in with its floral neighbors so well because it literally changes its leaves to copy them. Boquila can alter almost every aspect of its leaves, including the size, shape, color, orientation, and stalk length, all in order to disguise itself like the trees it grows on for support. This may be an adaptation to avoid predation, by both climbing on another leafy plant and blending in with its host leaves, which might be less tasty to bugs, slugs, and snails than Boquila leaves are. Boquila vines have also been found to mimic the leaves of more than a dozen species of trees. And they don't just stop at mimicking the plants they're climbing on, they can copy other nearby plants too, without even touching them. Not only that, but they can even grow multiple leaf shapes on a single vine, meaning they can mimic more than just one plant at a time. And the kicker is that scientists still don't know how these plants are able to do any of it. They do have a couple ideas, though. One fascinating hypothesis is that the vines are receiving the genetic blueprint to make these new shapes directly from those neighboring leaves. This neat trick is known as horizontal gene transfer, or the process of passing genetic material directly from one mature organism to another, as opposed to a parent giving their offspring their genes. Horizontal gene transfer is pretty common between single-celled organisms like bacteria, which pass around genes for things like antibiotic resistance, stuff that keeps the whole population healthy. And we also know that genes can be transferred between members of different species, even in multicellular organisms. For example, scientists have previously discovered that genes have jumped between rice and another another type of grain called millet, despite the fact that those two species diverged between 30 and 60 million years ago. But exactly how horizontal gene transfer works in plants is still a bit of a head-scratcher, and has been considered an unlikely mechanism for something as complex and sophisticated as rapid mimicry. For a little bit of context, gene transfer changing a plant's appearance would be like a handshake changing your eye color, or someone sneezing on you making your hair curly. It just it feels a little out there. But in 2021, some of the same researchers that originally described the shape-shifting properties of Boquila vines came up with a plausible mechanism for these plants swapping genes. Their idea is that airborne bacteria carry genetic material from the neighboring plants to Boquila's leaves, and the leaves can then integrate that information into their own genes and use it to change shape. This is wild, but it outlines how strange of a problem it is. So to test this, they sequenced the DNA in bacteria bacteria from Boquila leaves as well as the leaves from plants it had copied. When they compared the bacterial communities, they found an overlap between Boquila and the mimicked plants. Not only that, but there were significant differences between the bacteria on the Boquila leaves that had changed shape and the Boquila that hadn't. These results hint that bacteria may be playing a role in the exchange of genetic material, which would be a pretty revolutionary idea, botanically speaking. That said, the authors also acknowledge that more has to be done to lock down this hypothesis. It's a pretty extraordinary claim. It would need pretty extraordinary evidence. But there is another, even wilder possibility for how Boquila has become a master of disguise. A recent study has explored the rather controversial idea that these vines can see. The science fiction-y idea that plants might be able to see has actually been around since 1905. That's when Austrian botanist Gottlieb Haberlandt suggested that the outer layer of cells on a leaf could act as a lens, focusing the rays of light onto light-sensing cells, which altogether is called an ocellus. We have found some forms of photoreceptors in plants, but whether they allow plants to actually see shapes or colors, or even exist at all, has yet to be confirmed. But that hasn't stopped researchers 
researchers from exploring the idea of plant vision in Boquila. In a 2022 study, researchers decided to give some Boquila plants an eye exam. Since they knew that Boquila can mimic living plants, they decided to see if the vines could copy fake plastic plants, too. Since a plastic plant doesn't have any genes to transfer, it would mean that if Boquila was able to mimic these leaves, it was not doing so by using genetics or any chemical signals from the host. They also grew other vines below a shelf, blocking their line of sight to the fake plants. As the Boquila vine grew toward the artificial plant, its leaves started to morph, reportedly becoming more like the fake leaves, while the Boquila branches hidden by the shelf got bigger but didn't change Shape. All of which, the authors argue, supports their idea that Boquila can see. Now, to be clear, other plant biologists are pretty skeptical of the plant vision hypothesis, going as far to call the idea, quote, far-fetched. Not only that, but several researchers have criticized the design of that 2022 study, saying the variables that can influence leaf shape, like the age of the leaves and light exposure, weren't properly controlled for. They also criticized the lack of explanation for how plant vision could reasonably work, since the whole hypothesis hinges on the plant plants like actually being able to see stuff. But the study's authors stand by their work and are currently doing more experiments with Boquila plants to further investigate their plant vision hypothesis. And even the critics will concede that they won't say it's impossible that plants can see. We might even find that both horizontal gene transfer and plant vision are at play when these guys mimic their neighbors. These weird copycats are just one more example of how little we really understand about the natural world. Because who knows, maybe when you look at that houseplant on your desk, it's looking back at you. Regardless of how they do it, you have to admit that it's pretty cool that these plants can shapeshift. They're 3D objects that change into differently shaped 3D objects. And if that doesn't immediately send you reeling, then you can always watch this video again after taking the Brilliant course on 3D geometry. Brilliant is an online learning platform with courses in science, computer science, and math. And this particular course uses interactive puzzles and lessons to help you appreciate just how complicated the third dimension is. From cross-sections to full Folding, you will learn how 3D shapes can bend themselves and your mind. And since you watch SciShow, you can get 20% off an annual Premium Brilliant subscription by clicking the link in the description down below or by going to brilliant.org scishow. Thanks to you for watching, and thanks to Brilliant for supporting this SciShow video.